Hey up folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel. So, we beat our Chocobo opponent to the finish line after opening 5 chests. We caught enough balloons and dodged enough birds to get to the second Chocobo race with a time of 0 seconds. And we have even dodged 200 lightning strikes in the Thunder Plains. But the evil side quest action in Final Fantasy X is not over yet. Today, we are butterfly catching. As we get started, please don't forget you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for future guides and additional Final Fantasy content. You can also follow me over at Twitter at Fuzzfinger01. Now, the butterfly catching minigame in Final Fantasy X may not be the worst of the bunch, but it is still pretty frustrating and is going to take a little bit of practice. There are two individual courses that you will want to complete with this minigame. Once you've completed the first successfully, you will be rewarded with a teleport sphere. Not all that exciting, but the second is more important since completing this one, you will get the Saturn Sigil, which is a required ingredient in boosting Kimari's Celestial Weapon. So you can complete these two courses in any order, it doesn't matter. Once you've beaten your first course, you will get that teleport sphere. And then once you've beaten the second, again, whichever order do you do them in is when you will get the Saturn Sigil. This does mean that you do need to do both of them for Kimari's Celestial Weapon Upgrade. Okay, so just before I run over the actual courses themselves, I do want to share a few tips to help you on your way. First off, when coming to the Macalania Woods, make sure you bring some means of disabling enemy encounters, so a piece of weapon or armour with the no encounter ability, or of course if you're playing a version of the HD remaster with a button toggle that can disable them, that will be fine as well. And I would also recommend you bring your capture weapons because even with no encounters there are going to be some forced battles every time we hit the red butterflies so we may as well make the most of those we can't escape from them and we can capture fiends as we go here for the monster arena. Other than that, this is really just going to require some practice. Now, when you first start out trying to do this, you're going to be entering battles. You're not going to be getting to the finish line with all the butterflies caught, and you're just going to feel a little bit deflated. That's absolutely normal because the RNG element in this particular side quest is actually more at a minimum compared to some of the other side quests in the game. It is more to do with just practice and muscle memory, learning the route that's involved, and eventually it will become second nature. Oh, and one more thing, this is more of a warning, I would say, than a tip, but it is very important. Once you've captured the last blue butterfly in either course, you need to start moving immediately. If you carry on going and end up in the next area, you're going to reset the minigame before you've looted your reward. You're going to have to do it all over again. So stop in your tracks after the last butterfly so that you can then turn around and go back to where the chest is located that you need to loot. Honestly, I'm telling you from experience, I did it myself. I looted the last butterfly and then reset the whole game before I got the chest open. It wasn't a nice feeling. Right, so I actually did the second of the two courses first. Again, it makes no real difference. But what you want to do is go to this butterfly here. This will start the event. And once you've got this, you need to backtrack because the first blue butterfly that we need to touch is a little bit further back. So here it is. We're going to grab that there. And then we're just going to stay to the left-hand side as we come over to the second of the blue butterflies, which is right on the left. And we're going to sort of zigzag between those three as we make our way up the path and as you get up the path here hug the right hand side there is a blue butterfly you will grab and then dodge these butterflies here as i am with a little bit of a zigzag motion if you do encounter one battle you might be able to still do it so that'll probably take about two seconds of your time here's the next blue butterfly i did actually miss that so i had to go back for it but that's fine and then here's the next blue butterfly. So as we come around, we're going to want to hug the uh, other side of the path here, just as I'm doing to dodge that red. And then move over to dodge this red. And then we've got the blue butterfly just around the corner. And then the final blue butterfly just up here. Again, make sure to start moving as soon as you've touched it so you don't leave the area, which is that green square on the map. Right. 
We're now just going to head back, backtrack a little bit to about halfway through the course, and that's where the chest is going to be that will contain our reward. So for me, it's the teleport sphere. If you've done this course second, it will be the Saturn Seagull. But please, you know, by all means, just follow that pathing path I showed you a few times. I did slow it down. Hopefully that will help. So you can get a hang of it and then you can train it into your muscle memory as you practice yourself. But let's move on to the next course now. So this course begins by this NPC. This is where the first butterfly is that we need to start the event off with. And start by heading over to the left hand side. That will grab the first chest. Then move over to the middle to dodge the red butterflies on the sides. The next blue is on the left. Go through the middle of these two here in a zigzag pattern. Then dodge this red one by the tree and then go back closer to the tree to grab the next blue. As you can see, not a perfect run there by me, but it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. So head through to the left hand side of the ramp here. That will dodge both of those two reds and then stay up the right for a moment as in closer to the camera and then move over to the other side to grab the blue. And then we're going to start heading back down the other side here. So head over to the edge to grab this blue one and just stay on that side because there is a red and then move over to dodge this next red. This bit's the most awkward of the course. You do need to zigzag between them as I did. Once you've mastered that bit, the rest of the course is really a formality. So just grab this blue butterfly here on the left hand side and that's the last one. Be very careful again not to exit the screen, which you can see by that green square. And then we're going to go and grab our reward, which for me will be the Saturn Seagull. If this is your first course, it will be the Teleport Sphere. And there we have it. Another frustrating minigame in Final Fantasy X destroyed. And congratulations to you guys that have successfully done this. So we're going to be moving on now as we continue our path to the Platinum Trophy. But thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe for future content and I'll see you in the next video.